The value of private equity deals in East Africa tripled to $152 million in 2015 and Deloitte East Africa believes that 90% of PE investors in East Africa will invest more in the 2016-2017 financial year. Take a look. Continued improvement in economic and investment climate in East Africa is a main driver for private equity activity in the region. The 2016 Deloitte Africa Private Equity Confidence Survey says that 90% of private equity investors in the region expect to invest more in 2017 compared to 71% in 2015. 88% of our respondents um, said they would invest in Kenya. 50% uh, in Uganda, 50% in Tanzania, and about 38% in Ethiopia, which is interesting considering that Kenya uh, is going into an election period next year. Uh, but again, um, you know, the, the attractiveness of Kenya, um, you know, is about the increased opportunities, primarily dri driven by uh, the infrastructure development, uh, a stable economic growth forecast, and a vibrant and innovative uh, private sector. The whole uh, spectrum uh, is uh, getting uh, uh, quite uh, interesting, it's getting bigger, we're getting more fund managers, uh, we've got the biggest fund managers we've ever had, we're getting lots of exits, uh, it's uh, fairly vibrant and we're also now beginning to get the local pension fund investors also getting an interest uh, in participating on the upsides of private equity. Investor expectations are that the capital raising environment will improve, aided by the regulation that allows Kenyan pension funds to invest up to 10% of their assets into private equity. P funds don't have to catch a plane, go to London, go to Geneva, go to the US, um, to get, or even to South Africa to get money uh, from those markets. So you, our local pension funds are able to actually rally behind them and fundraising can be done locally. Uh, you will have um, shilling investments that then yield dollar return. Um, so even when you look at the whole macroeconomic benefits later on, is um, the, the returns then to the pensioners are actually higher, which then has a multiplier effect in terms of just uh, helping us grow the economy and even deepen uh, you know, the gains that we, we have gained. By targeting Kenyan pension funds, private equity investors will be tapping into an industry worth 1 trillion Kenya shillings. In the past, poor regulation has inhibited flow of capital from pensioners to the private equity market. I think the question is whether the regulation is actually enabling the free flow of capital into, uh, into private equity or whether it's holding it back. At the moment, what we're trying to say is that it needs to be, uh, it needs to be released, it needs to be uh, you know, re rewritten in, an, in such a way that it enables much more flow of capital into private equity, because there's no country that has developed uh, without investing money in private equity. And pension funds, by their very nature, tend to invest for the long term, and you therefore need to match the long term aspect of uh, pension fund liabilities uh, with uh, long-term uh, investments such as private equity because private equity is a 10-year investment so you need those kind of uh, uh, matching to happen. Also the pension funds how much are they pushing to be allowed to invest in this asset class because you find if it's only being pushed from the regulators side um, then it takes a bit longer. When you have more stakeholders involved in a process, if you, if you had the pension funds you know, chasing the regulator and saying, hey, when are these regulations coming into force? We need this asset class because it is going to be of benefit to us and things like that. So it needs to be a two-way process because then the regulator will only move at their pace. Uh, but if the stakeholders are not pushing fast enough for these regulations to be implemented, um, then there's always going to be a disconnect. As PE activity intensifies in the coming months, the size of investments is projected to be between 6 to $10 million, targeting the small and medium enterprises. Over the next 12 months, uh, our respondents expect the average size of the transactions in the East African region um, to increase in 2016 uh, compared to last year. And this is based on increased competition, more investment opportunities, and the fact that some of them will be targeting uh, larger sizes. And some of the key insights we drew is that um, there's a greater team efficiency when you're managing a larger transaction or a larger deal than when you're managing a smaller one. So some of them are shifting uh, from, um, you know, very small deals and upping their investment size to ensure that, um, you know, they, they have a more efficient deal management structure. 
Historically, private equity activity in the region has focused towards asset-backed industries such as manufacturing, retail, and consumer-based sectors. Deloitte expects this trend to continue. Now, when we look at the PE um, environment, the funds have opted to invest mainly in asset-backed securities, so mainly your manufacturing, um, healthcare, retail, um, and we expect this trend to continue into the foreseeable future. And there'll also be um, increased PE activity, and we've seen that of that in the FMCG um, uh, sector, driven again by the growing population and again the middle class. In the near future, only a few funds are nearing maturity and therefore exits will be moderate. According to the confidence survey by Deloitte, most exits will be via seeking strategic investors as IPOs remain an expensive and bureaucratic venture. Basically, the respondents expect the exit environment to decline. And um, this could be influenced by the fact that um, there's a whole forest risk in the majority of East and West African responding. Respondents saying, um, you know, let's not exit now. Let's wait and see whether, the, you know, the currency is going to stabilize. Because what it means when you get out your money, obviously you're getting out your money in, in local currency, which then means that you'll be hit by the depreciating currencies.